going on everybody it is another day out here on the trail today we've come out uh into mueller state park out here just uh west of colorado springs and we're kind of channeling our inner simon baxter today doing some woodland photography and hopefully uh capturing a few interesting compositions out here we're doing a little bit of trail scouting today uh, and already, you know, out on the trail for a few minutes here, I've kind of already found an image that is actually sort of interesting to me. We've got this log just kind of lying down here, leading your eye out into the, out into the trees here. We've got the sun that's poking through all the branches up here. And what's interesting is where the sun is at right now, the sun is, the light is casting in through this kind of little grove right here let's call it a grove and it's lighting up this log with some really cool kind of light patterns and it's just making for a very interesting image i find woodland photography to be really challenging because you can have such cluttered backgrounds and you know it's hard to isolate uh an image or isolate you know a tree or some other interesting foliage because you've got so much going on in the background so the sun here is really helping to uh, make this image just a little bit more interesting. So uh, I've got the camera set up here, obviously in vertical orientation, cause it's me, I love my vertical orientation. Um, settings wise, I am at F20 because where the, with the sun poking through these clouds, if you've got some obstruction, you can create a starburst. So, um, you know, some people like those, some people don't. I'm a fan. So we're going to try here. Uh, ISO 100, obviously, because we're on a tripod and I'm trying to get as much uh, uh, dynamic range uh, out of this image as possible. And my shutter speed, I'm at one sixth of a second. Uh, mounted on a tripod, you know, you really don't need to worry about a longer shutter speed here. So let's just take this shot real quick. big reasons that why I decided to come out and do some woodland photography today was that I really want to challenge myself uh, as a photographer today. I know a lot of you are probably saying, well, Ryan, you're a landscape photographer. Why are you, would you have an issue shooting woodland photography? Well, as a landscape photographer, you know, I'm drawn to grand vistas, you know, being up on the mountainside. Uh, shooting down into the valley or shooting down onto that lake or being at the lake and getting this the grand panoramic. And, you know, uh, sometimes in shooting those things, you can lose sight of the more intimate shots. And that's what today is about, trying to find some more intimate uh, photographs and really just pushing myself to think of that uh, just up close and more intimate uh, shot here. So... You know, that's one of the reasons why, that's the big reason why I wanted to come out here today and uh, push myself because I feel like woodlands, you have to get intimate. Uh, there's, like I said earlier, there's so much stuff going on in a woodland that you've really got to look hard and find, you know, that little stick that's just sticking out just right. <laughs> nice pun there. Or, uh, you know, the, the way the light is hitting the grass or the leaves just right or hitting a big... Uh, Aspen tree or birch tree, if as what I think this thing is back there. So I've been hiking down the trail, and I noticed this kind of big, uh, just I believe it's a birch tree. If somebody knows better, uh, just go ahead and correct me in the comments below. Um, and with where the sun's at right now, it's just cresting the tops of these pine trees here in this grove and hitting this tree right here. 
So uh, I really want to capture this. This is a challenging scene because the light's hitting the tree, but I've got a very, very dark background. So uh, I'm really having to push the camera to capture that dynamic range. So to do that, I'm having to, once again, uh, bracket. I'm going about a stop and a third each way so I can get my highlights and capture some shadow detail there. And I really think this is a great example of trying to find that intimate scene in an area where you uh, may not always notice it. So uh, let's see here. I am at F8, drop my ISO back down to 100, and I am shooting at 1 320th of a second. Again, bracketing a stop and a third either side. And let's just see how this shot turns out. So the other big reason I've come out here today is just to get some location scouting in. All these aspens and birch trees, uh, right now they don't have any leaves or uh, foliage on them, but in the fall they will be full of nice golden leaves and that will make for just some fantastic uh, photography. So I'm using this opportunity today to find some interesting locations and catalog them in my brain. So. Uh, if and when I come back out sometime in the fall, I'll have an idea of where I want to go and where I can get some really interesting shots. So the image I've got framed up right now is I'm just zoomed into this grove of aspen trees and I'm just focusing in on the trunks. Um, they got some nice contrast with the white of the bark against some of the darkness of the shadows that we're getting in this cluster right here. And really there's not much more to say about it. It's a very simple, very intimate shot and, and I really think it kind of just exemplifies what I've been trying to accomplish here today and how I've been trying to challenge myself with doing more intimate landscape shots. Check out this view here. That's Pike's Peak up there. We've got this just beautiful looking valley down here. This is an amazing location. Too bad I didn't hike fast enough and the sun is now kind of at its midday, midday point. So it's still a great view, but photography wise, the sun is just gonna wash out the image here. I'm not gonna get any good uh, contrast or, or detail in this. So I'm gonna leave this shot for another day. This is gonna be something I'm definitely gonna come back to in the fall when we've got a lot of color out here and these aspen trees are gonna be full of leaves. Gorgeous mid-morning just to be out hiking and exploring though. So I've made it back up to the upper parking lot up here at Mueller State Park and I think we're going to end this video here today. We've definitely hit midday and I've got a lot of harsh lighting going on, but it's been an interesting morning. found some compositions that normally I probably wouldn't be 
going after. Also, I think we found some really interesting locations to come back to uh, later on in the year. So I'm feeling pretty happy about today. So I'm gonna just find a place here to sit down, eat a snack, and just enjoy the rest of my day. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be alerted when I post more content. Also, be sure to check out all my social media links to see more of my work. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time out on the trail. Mm -hmm.